last year. And I have an agenda. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to look at arthritis broadly um, and we're going to be trying to drop in um, advice for owners. So owners might be going, oh, I just wanted the good stuff. Well, listen in because there's going to be lots of tips and advice incorporated into our talk. So let's start with the first of eight points. What are your thoughts on how we currently manage OA? And let's look at the progress we've had in the last decade. So a lot of people still feel that, you know, we've got limited management options for what is a terrible, long-term, non-curable, progressive condition. What's your thoughts on that? I'm quite excited about what uh, we have seen over, let's say, the last decade or last two decades. And that embraces such things as within the profession, uh, being attended to, understanding, and embracing the concept of multimodal management. And of course, you've got a couple of textbooks there that I've written on the subject. And to cut to the chase, it takes advantage of the concept of synergism, which is to say that when typically when you use two agents or drugs that work by different modes of action, and they're not competing for the same substrate, then you get more than the added value by using the two together. You get a greater effect, synergism. And I think uh, that concept is extremely important because as we're using products and drugs such as the opioids and NSAIDs, which were designed to manage acute pain and still tend to be the go-to for early stage recognition, not disease, but recognition early stage of osteoarthritis tend to be the first reach. And then I think development of physical rehab or physical therapy has led us uh, down a wonderful road. As a surgeon, I can recall when a physical rehab became kind of the vogue thing. And then as surgeons, being arrogant as we tend to be, we said, boy, we're getting much, much better at our surgeries because our dogs are doing a lot better. Well, it was the PT folk surgery. That's why they were doing better. And so I think we're now at the emphasis of being at yet another step stone in the creation of such things as monoclonal antibodies and radiotherapeutics. So I think that we can recognize significant step stones of getting better and offering more uh, multiclonal antibodies. I think just recently uh, in the EU, the yeah. uh, anti-nerve growth factor has been accepted. I don't believe it's yet to be available for about another calendar year. Oh, but, no, uh, we've, we've, we've got it. We've had it for about nearly a month now. Oh, have you? Well, yeah. I, 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 the press release that I read said that it was uh, approved, but not yet commercially available. And so thanks for that information. And then, of course, uh, I think in 2013, the World Health Organization got to, or gave recognition to a new class of treatment uh, drugs, the piprants. Yep. And so uh, with galloprant as more or less the cornerstone of the piprant offerings, that was also a significant step. So I see that we've made quite a bit of progress in a lot of different areas. And if you put all those back into your basket of multimodal options for treating osteoarthritis, We've increased uh, the bullets in our belt, if you will, considerably over the last couple of decades. And I see that uh, advancing at that kind of pace. And, and that's very refreshing. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I am where I am. A few years ago, I was at the point where I thought, well, kind of been there, done that, and it's time for me to take the rest of my dinosaurs and move out. But I, I saw this as an innovative new way of treatment. And so I just kind of said to myself, I, I have to be a part of that. It just, it's got my uh, juices flowing and my enthusiasm. Yeah. And I feel young again in regards to excitement for a new adventure. And, and this is it. Because how long, just roughly, how long have you been focused on arthritis? Because like, I've been a bit obsessed for about six years. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nailing it. Well, I would say pretty much 30 years, 25, 30 years, something like that. I recall when 